Landing in Orlando and Mike wanting to make the most out of having to drive 10 hours to Key West to get one player said, uh, I know these people, they have a spring league down here called the World of, I think the, the World League of American Football. And it's being coached by this guy named Don Matthews who would go on to win six Grey Cups. And Mike said, I know one of the coaches there, maybe they'll let us come visit. So we called them and we, they were very gracious. We went over there and we're walking out to practice and I looked at Coach Matthews and I said, what's your best drill? And he said, watch bandit drill at the end. That's where we practice our two minute offense. And so Mike and I were standing there watching it and we were just, we'd seen two minute offenses before but never this well organized. So he, uh, it was just so good. And we just looked at each other and we immediately knew we had found our edge but we weren't gonna do it in two minutes. We were gonna do it all the time. And, and so we took it back and put it in. And then we proceeded in the rent car towards Key West, but along the way we stopped off to visit Dennis Erickson at the University of Miami. And we wanted to know how they threw the ball deep so well all the time, vertical routes. And we waited around for the receiver coach after practice and he's kind of slipped out. And then uh, we're just kind of standing out in the hallway by the coach's dressing room, too shy to talk to anybody really. And Dennis, came out in his boxer shorts and his t-shirt and he said what do you guys need and he said we want to know about vertical routes and he goes well come on in so he took us in the coach's dressing room showed us how to how to stack cornerbacks and how to throw vertical routes and so we added that to the package and then uh, the next stop was Key Largo where we signed a tackle we managed to sign more than one player on this trip and uh, but his the important thing about that was his dad uh, after we signed him took us uh, deep sea fishing for red snapper and we did that for a whole day and then we got back in the car and we proceeded to Key West now this is the key part of the pirate story right here so the first place we we had driven around all these places in a 1984 Ford Taurus trying to find all these ideas to put into our offense put into what we were doing and uh, this was the ultimate trip we finally made it to Key West because the whole time we would drive around, we would listen to Jimmy Buffett all the time. It was just, that's all we played. In fact, I tell Jacqueline, my wife now, I kind of miss the 80s and the 90s in terms of music. All, all I can really tell you about is Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> and uh, Mike was kind of the same way. But we, uh, we knew about Captain Tony's and we knew about Tony Terracino, who had been the mayor of Key West, and he was in his 80s at the time, and had this fabulous, he basically was the pirate. And so we go to Captain Tony's, and we sit on two bar stools at the bar, and we're just kind of looking around at all the paraphernalia and everything, all the history in there. And we stay there for a long time, and it gets to be about one o'clock in the morning. Now, I, I couldn't hang near as good as Mike Leach. I have to go to bed around one or two, or I may pass out. But Mike could, he seemed to get stronger as it went on, you know. So I, I said, look, Mike, I have to go to bed, but if you want to stay, go ahead. So I went back to the hotel. The next day we get up, we're eating lunch, and he looks at me and he goes, you're going to hate me. I go, why? He goes, because you're going to be so jealous. I said, why? He goes, well, when you left, Captain Tony Terracino came and sat next to me on that bar stool you were on. And then he proceeded to tell me the whole story about how Jimmy Buffett wrote Last Mango in Paris about his life. He said it was so great, and I know you're jealous now. 